Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Network Address Translation, or NAT. In this specific example here, we're going to be taking a look at Static NAT, and we're going to be also taking a look at the principles of Network Address Translation. We will also be configuring Static NAT here between two routers and then what I'm going to do is show you some debug commands within NAT and some show commands for verification that we have complete successfully completed static NAT. So what you can see here is we've got a pretty simple setup between these two routers, router 1 and 2. They're both connected via the 150.0.12.0/24 network. And as we all know, this is a public IP network, which can be routable over the Internet. And I guess one of the first topics we need to talk about with network address translation is why, are, why is there such a thing? And the simple reason for network address translation is to take is to take a a lot of private IP networks and make them look like one or a very small amount of global routed IP addresses. So in this case what we're using here on router one is we're using loopback one is going to be using the 10 network which we all know is a private network and we're going to make it look like a global IP address. So we're going to make it reachable. But we're going to use NAT to translate this IP address here, this 10 network, into a globally routed IP address for router 2 to see. And we're going to do this again. This is going to be static NAT. And what we first also need to realize is the types of IP address, uh, I'm sorry, the types of, I, yes, that's correct, the types of IPs that we can be using to specify a, a, uh, a particular node. So we have four types within NAT that we're using here. We're using what's called the inside local, the inside global, the outside local, and the outside global. And I'm going to break these all down for you to understand here. What we're going to see is that our inside local for this example is going to be the 10 network. And the inside local IP address is the local IP address of the private network here that we're using are the private host on our network. So again, what we're going to be using in this example is the 10 network. This is going to be our inside local. And then we also have what's called the inside global IP address here. And this is, again, the publicly routed or registered IP range, which is, we all know, the 150.0 is a publicly routed class B network range. And again, what we're going to make it look like here is we're going to make router 2, when router 2 tries to reach the 10 network, we're going to make it look like it reaches it through 150.0.12.1. So again, that's the inside global, that's going to be our inside global IP address. The third type of IP address here that we have is what's called the outside local, and this is